So today I'm teaching a children's workshop. It'll be every day this week. And we're doing cultural art from around the world. Today we did African women, and then tomorrow we'll do Aboriginal dot painting. And I'm not sure exactly which day we'll do what. I've got five projects though that we're doing this week, and they're all written out at home. But yeah, the first one went really well. It was a lot of fun. Uh, there's the younger class in the mornings, and then the afternoons will be the older class. So I'm just taking my lunch break, eating a few cherries and peaches that are all fresh, picked locally. So stoked about that. And I think that's kind of, that's about it. I just wanted to give you some updates on the classes that I'm teaching. And I think I'll be teaching at least one of the girls in private lessons as well. So I'm stoked about that. And I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a beautiful day out today, so I'm really excited. One of my favorite things about teaching is working with kids who maybe haven't had a chance to fall in love with learning and art or even explore their own creativity. My second class was, last week was a challenge. I had a couple kids with disabilities, as well as a couple students from the foster care system, and a couple who were not within the age range they were supposed to be in. Also, over a quarter of my students didn't speak English at home, which made for some fun projects since I encouraged them not to use English if they didn't want to. These groups were all perf a perfect fit for the class because we got to focus on who they were and why the things that make kids different are beautiful. We had some great conversations about what culture is, as well as what it means to respect people who are different than us. We defined culture every day at the beginning of class. We talked about it being anything from the foods we eat, to the sports we play and watch, to what we do on weekends with family and friends. We talked about clothing, weather, lifestyle, and religion. As the class went on, kids became more comfortable sharing about what their family does, what languages they speak at home, or even how they celebrate specific holidays. My teaching style is very play-based, but we started off the class with a project where everyone did the same, something very similar. Not quite the same, but very similar. The three projects in the middle were more open-ended and play-based, and the final one was less messy and very personal. The first four days, we explored a bit about other cultures, Africa, Australia, and indigenous people groups in the U.S., India, and several other Southeast Asian countries. And the last two days, kids had the chance to incorporate their own cultures and their final project on Friday allowed for an exploration of each individual's culture and life and personal interest. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love teaching, so it's a great way to share life and art with people in a unique and like very personal way. If you enjoyed this video, let me know and I'll show you some more from different art classes. Tell me what you liked about it below. Tell me what you want more of. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I make art videos on Tuesdays. And I try to do something on Thursdays as well, but a lot of weeks I only get one in. Uh, just kind of depends. So be sure to subscribe for more art and social change and cultural art and all of those good things. And I will see you guys around. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I want to show you guys the mural outside of Allied Arts or the mosaic. It goes all the way around. It's really cool. Today we did Aboriginal Woman. No, my goodness. No, we didn't. 